Hi, I'm Enchanting Nubianette. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. 25 year old Carlos Collins from Johnson, Mississippi met his former lover, 33 year old Marcus Johnson, and they dated for a year. I believe they met at a club. While the relationship ended, Marcus Johnson, a former JPD officer, refused to accept that they would no longer be together. Yes, you heard me correctly. Marcus Johnson was working as a police officer for eight months. However, he was terminated after less than a year in 2013. It's obvious that Mr. Johnson wasn't a quality employee. And I'm curious about why he was terminated so soon. By the following year, Marcus Johnson was arrested and charged with, the imper with impersonating an officer at the Palisades Apartments. And it's a short distance away from the Jackson State University. During the incident, he wrote a fake citation and the female victim said that he allegedly tried to hook up with her. Marcus Johnson was attempting to void the ticket. On the other hand, Carlos Collins was dedicated to serving others while in a career as a registered nurse. Several people described him as a positive light who cared for others. Since his ex-lover began stalking him, he invested in a ring security camera. The harassment became so severe, Carlos Collins got a restraining order filed against Marcus Johnson for several months. Now, before I continue, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Now back to present times. Marcus Johnson's rage escalated. At some point, after not one but several restraining orders, he still would not back down. He had no rationale and went to Carlos Collins' home with intent to do harm. And on Tuesday, April 9th, at Carlos Collins' residence, the Tapestry Northridge Apartments on Parkway Drive, Marcus Johnson identified the cameras but still proceeded to use his firearm and an ax to force his way inside. Sadly, Carlos Collins passed away there. And instead of Marcus Johnson having integrity and being held accountable, he fled and the police had to chase him down. Former Jackson police officer who was wanted for murder has been captured. 33-year-old Marcus Johnson was wanted for the homicide of 25-year-old Carlos Collins. The homicide happened early Tuesday morning at Tapestry Northridge Apartments on Parkway Drive in Jackson. The Hines County coroner said Collins had been shot multiple times. Authorities were looking for Johnson and he was considered armed and dangerous. According to the Vicksburg Daily News, Vicksburg and Louisiana authorities worked together to capture Johnson yesterday after a chase. Johnson worked for the Jackson Police Department for eight months in 2013. Imagine this individual was once on the opposite side of the law with the power to convict others. Did Marcus Johnson even take the police officer psychological assessment? Did he get a passing score? Something was so off about Marcus Johnson, which was hidden from Carlos Collins for a year. What is even worse, when a person who has access to law enforcement, if they are doing any crimes against you, they can use that network to keep tabs on you forever. And with that type of power, they remain protected. Now, in this case, Carlos Collins' mother revealed that Marcus Johnson's law enforcement history and connections was hidden. She does not believe her son will get justice within this case if it stays in this district. And I truly hope the case will be turned over to another location. Marcus Johnson was recently caught across state lines to Louisiana. He was apprehended 25 miles outside of Monroe, Louisiana.
Now that this heartless man is in custody in the Hines County Sheriff's Department, he's being extradited from the Richland Parish Detention Center in Rayville, Louisiana, and his bail bond is denied. Finally, he faces charges of M and firing into an occupied dwelling. Carlos Collins' last moments were recorded from the exterior cameras too. In-depth background checks and taking things slow are necessary when dating in these times, everyone. My condolences to Carlos Collins' family, friends, and loved ones, and may he rest in peace. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks a million and stay safe wherever you are.